praise the Lord, brothers and sisters, in Christ Jesus. Let us make a prayer. Papa Father, give us your Holy Spirit so that we are able to understand what you want to say to us and that we are able to apply that in our life. Amen. Today's verse is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verse 28 to 32. Which of the two did what his father wanted? The first they answered. Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God ahead of you. This verse is taken from the parable of the two sons, wherein a father told his two sons to go and work in his vineyard. The elder son initially refused to go and work, however, later changed his mind and went to work. The second son said yes, however, later did not go to work in the vineyard. This parable Jesus narrated after the chief priest, elders, and the teachers of the law questioned his authority of teaching in the temple. The first son here, brothers and sister, represents the tax collector and prostitute who initially refused God's will in their life by their lifestyle, but later changed their minds and got converted. They accepted the message of Jesus which not only opened the doors of the kingdom of heaven for them, but also help them see the true face of God as a loving father. The second son here represents the chief priest, elders and the teachers of the law, who by the virtue of their vocation initially said yes to God's will in their life, but later on refused to not only accept John the Baptist as a messenger of God, thus been indifferent to his message of repentance and declaration of Jesus as a Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Through this scripture, let us reflect on three key points. The first point is how we take a decision. Do we take a decision based on emotions and logic? Do we say yes to something and later regret it? Or do we consult the Holy Spirit and are led by the Holy Spirit? In the scriptures, we see that before David went to any of his battle, he consulted the Lord. In 1 Chronicles chapter 14, verse 10, it says, David inquired of God, Shall I go up against the Philistines, and will you give them into my hand? Then Lord said, Go up, for I will give them into your hand. This was warfare. More than anywhere else, David required your logic and strong emotions. But instead we see that David did not rely on any of it. Rather, he goes to the Lord and consults the Lord. That is two brothers and sisters, no matter how big or small the choices of life Consult the Lord and be guided by the Holy Spirit. The second point is, how do we see people? In the scripture, Jesus says, the prostitutes and the tax collector will enter before you. Let us reflect. When we see a new believer or a convert in church or around us, with their past, their gender, their status, their background, hinder us from accepting them as a new creation? Do their past history uh, make us think that they will never enter the kingdom of God? If so, the scripture in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 says, Anyone who is in Christ is a new creation. For him the old things have passed away and a new world has come. Before Peter went to preach the good news to Cornelius, a Gentile, 
God gave him a message. That in Acts chapter 10 verse 15 says, "What God has made clean, we have no right to call profane." Let us ask the Lord to give his eyes that we may see people through his vision and not through our preconceived notions. The third and the most important thing we learn from this scripture is the importance of doing the will of God. After Jesus narrated the parable, the first thing he asked was who among the two did what the father wanted. In this world, if we fulfill our every desire and achieve every ambition according to the incorrect worldly means, then no matter how rich, famous or successful we become, we will never find true contentment in that when it is not the will of God. Mark 8.36 says, For what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his own soul? In Matthew chapter 12 verse 50, Jesus says, For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother, sister and mother, meaning to say he is part of my family. When we get to heaven, it is more important to be recognized by the Father. than anyone else in this world. Let us make a prayer. Baba Father, teach us to always consult the Holy Spirit and be obedient to it. Give us your eyes so that we may see everyone with love and compassion as you see. Most importantly, give us a grace to live our life according to your will. so that we can glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.